welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's um, as well as possible um, Today I'm going to be doing a budget travel news 10 exciting facts February 2023 part 1 and I'm getting uh, the information from the times.co.uk um, the weather in the UK um, has been uh, windy um, but uh, dry um, and um, normal temperatures really for this t uh, time of year quite cold um, hi if you're new here to my channel uh, my name's rebecca I, I love talking about travel and lifestyle uh, please subscribe um, and also don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing that i, I really appreciate it um, so i'm going to dive right in uh, with um, the first fact and see if you uh, can find a good package deal uh, several websites um, offer package deals on holidays that include flights transfers and accommodation sometimes even coming in with extra baggage allowance and a free meal kayak and uh, travel uh, supermarket are good places to start it's also worth um, looking at um, holiday pirates and hot uk deals.com which feature heavily discounted uh, short flash uh, deals um, any cash is worth uh, doing the maths and um, making um, Sure, sure that uh, you can't book the same holiday either cheaper or exactly the, the same um, or a similar holiday by buying the flights and accommodation separately so it is still worth checking if buying them separately will be cheaper for you uh, number two, um, visit uh, Lucky Trip. Um, if you are trying to work um, out what um, uh, b basically holiday um, is within your travel budget, um, and you want also open to a wide range of options then lucky trip um, is in is an interesting way to go um to get your um budget per person and uh, the site suggested holiday um for for you and say your family or whoever you're going with or if it's just yourself um yourself um and it will give you the total price uh, this includes uh, flights accommodation and something to do like uh, visiting a, a castle or going kayaking and um, also in with the price and um, but again you've got to be um, uh, w uh, willing it to either try other holiday options um, within your travel budget obviously um, it, it to, do, it to do that and number three sign up to Jack Flight Club this is a free email newsletter and it outlines some of the best flight deals available these have included a return flight from london to new york 
for just over £200 and uh, Manchester to Punta Canara in the Dominican, uh, Dominican Republic for £199, uh, sorry £199, so two, uh, just over 200 for London to New York and Manchester to Punta Canaria, Dominican Republic for £199. Um, if you have uh, not yet planned for your tri a trip, it could help you find a great deal that it slash, uh, basically slashes the price of your holiday. And so, uh, number four, if you are asked uh, whether you want to pay in pounds or sterling, um, or local currency, it's always at local currency because it's cheaper for you um, in the end. Um, so again, always pay local currency if possible. Number five, going to the EU, make sure you have a EHIC at slash CHIC card. It is a European health insurance card that gives you access to the same. Uh, it gives you access to the same same state provided healthcare um, as um, basically the nationals of that country for the same amount. Um, it would cost them. So you're not paying any extra if you get a European health insurance card to what a person in the EU uh, country is, pay, uh, is paying. It also covers you in all the countries in the EU, also Ireland, Iceland, uh, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland. So again, it's definitely worth getting if you're looking to travel uh, to Europe. And you can uh, apply on the times.co.uk money slash mentor slash article slash uh, travelling on a budget um, to find more information and to book. Also, at uh, number six, get insured. Um, basically, for any trip cancellations, illnesses, accidents uh, while you're away. Also, call, uh, covers loss or stolen baggage and um, even death. So, um, if anything was to go wrong on uh, your holiday like that, um, it'll be covered. and you can make a claim on your travel insurance and number seven know your rights hopefully your trip uh, runs smoothly but anything unexpected like unexpected uh, can cancellations um from an airline um it's key basically to know your rights so uh, you can get any refunds or compensation uh, to which um, you're entitled to. And uh, number eight, uh, hiring a car. Uh, look for free cancellation, a, a comparison site such as Kayak and or Skyscanner is a great way to find the cheapest car hire options for your trip. Um, it is also um, um, if you book on some, uh, better to book some days uh, rather than others. So it could be cheaper to say book in the week, say like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then a weekend like. Um, like Saturday and Sunday 
um, so a degree of flexibility um, will help you save money um, um, I'm on a firm offer of free ca uh, cancellation as standard up to usually four, uh, 48 hours in advance number nine Airbnb is not as cheap as it used to be when browsing for your accommodation do not um, make bed line for Airbnb you might find that hotels or some hotels are actually cheaper and more convenient in the area you you are visiting however uh, browse uh, if you book on uh, browse on booking.com and Travago you can see what options are available what uh, within your budget and next compare them with options uh, such as Airbnb in the same range uh, for instance you can compare a three star say Airbnb to a three star hotel in within the same area uh, for instance and uh, last but not least uh, pay the right way if you uh, do not already have um, a specialist travel uh, credit or debit card you could end up lo uh, or put losing a, a heap on free, uh, fees when you uh, pay with your card abroad many traditional high street banks charge exchange rate fees um of about three or up to three percent and sometimes they add, add on extra fees on top of that with paying with say like normal bank cards that is a huge amount of money um that you do not want to have to spend and seriously um and it will seriously uh, dent into your travel budget um, there are multiple travel uh, credit cards available that do not uh, charge exchange rate fees though some uh, levy um, interest um, on cash with withdrawals uh, you can also get a, a, a travel debit card that does not charge at all so uh, you may need a, a small fee on withdrawals over a certain amount so it, if you're getting a larger mon amount of money out uh, then it may charge you a small fee um, so again um, if you do have to pay for anything and you haven't got um, the cash then a travel credit or debit card um, is going to work out a lot cheaper for you and better so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for another video and it's going to be my improvements updates and more so please keep watching um, and thank you for watching and uh, have a good night. Thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.